What's going on, everybody? My name is Brandon. This is Potty Mouth Sports, your spot for uncensored and unfiltered sports opinions. Today, I'm coming with week three of No Cap Recap, where I recap all the big shit and news and drama that's going on in the NBA, the NFL, and the MLB. Without further ado, let's dive right in. So the first round of the NBA playoffs is kind of halfway over. I'm just going to go over each series. Philly leads the Washington Wizards 2-0. Brooklyn leads the Celtics 2-0. Milwaukee is leading the Miami Heat 3-0, which I believe will be a sweep. The New York Knicks and the Atlanta Hawks are tied at 1-1. And then in the Western Conference, the Utah Jazz and the Grizzlies are tied at 1-1. One one. The Phoenix Suns and the Lakers, the Lakers are leading that series 2-1 after a big win last night. The Denver Nuggets and the Portland Trailblazers, Denver has taken the lead. They are leading 2-1 in that series. And the Clippers and the Mavericks, Dallas still has that 2-0 lead over the Clips, which is a big upset. Not to do a super promo on myself, but we will be covering all the NBA playoffs in the next Zoom In With The Boys episode that's going to come out next Wednesday. We are going to go into depth on all the series and all the games that have gone by since the last Zoom In With The Boys episode. But from what I can tell right now, I mean, nobody expected Dallas to be over the Los Angeles Clippers. And everybody thought that the Miami Heat were going to be able to at least compete in their series against the Milwaukee Bucks, which hasn't seemed to be the case. I believe that's going to just be a sweep. Their head's not in it. They put up 84 points uh, game three. So, yeah, like can't really compete when you're putting up 84 points in 2021 in the NBA. And in other news in the NBA playoffs, there were two fan ejections and bans. First being a Knicks fan was indefinitely banned for spitting on Atlanta guard Trey Young. And a 76ers fan was banned for pouring popcorn on Wizards guard Russell Westbrook. He was injured. He was walking into the dressing room and somebody poured fucking popcorn all over him. Two big things definitely deserve to be banned indefinitely and permanently for the rest of their lives. I mean, it's 2021. You know not to spit on somebody. You know not to fucking pour popcorn on someone. I mean, the f way I'm seeing it is the fans don't know how to act. I believe that everyone's just been in quarantine, not been able to do anything for so long that they've got a little bit of freedom now, especially in the United States. And they're just going fucking wild. And that kind of reflects on some of the MLB games I'm seeing where people are literally getting into full-blown fist fights in the outfield. What a perfect segue into the MLB. So, big news in the MLB. Josh Donaldson claims to have a video compilation of pitchers using foreign substances to assist with grip and overall pitching ability. I'm going to call his bluff. I don't really see him releasing that publicly. I can see him handing it in to Rob Manfred for review. And I think it's without question that pitchers have been cheating or using shit to try and increase spin rate and just improve their overall pitching ability. People are studying it. Like Trevor Bauer is going to UCLA to look at studies to see how he can increase his pitch rate and his is already one of the highest in the league doesn't make it right josh donaldson has a case but i don't see him releasing this video publicly i see him just handing it into the mlb and saying here you go have at it new york mets pitching coach mickey calloway which sounds like an underboss in a mob family has been suspended until at least the 2022 season following sexual harassment allegations not much to say here you gotta wait and see the fucking evidence and how everything plays out in that. He's suspended. There's nothing really to talk about. Uh, we will talk about it when we get more information, of course. The first big trade and transaction in the season so far, the Milwaukee Brewers and the Tampa Bay Rays made a big trade. J.P. Fireisen and Drew Rasmussen from the Milwaukee Brewers are going to Tampa for shortstop Willie Adamas and reliever Trevor Richards. I mean, that's a big trade. Willie Adamas is one of the better shortstops in the league. Kind of spruces up the Milwaukee Brewers lineup. They are already solid in pitching. They have Corbin Burns. They have Freddie Peralta. They have Devin Williams. 
the and Josh Hader, I believe, as well. So they're solid on the pitching. It's just they need bats because Christian Yelich is cold as fucking ice half the time. So big pickup, good pickup for the Milwaukee Brewers. Hopefully they do something with it and aren't a middle-of-the-pack team in the NL. Oakland Athletics president Dave Cable said there is no trip planned to visit Portland for possible relocation. We know that six cities are interested in relocating the Oakland Athletics to them. We don't know what cities exactly those are. We know one is Las Vegas, and Dave Cable came out and said that they are trying to figure out a trip to go to Las Vegas to visit for possible relocation. Stay tuned on the Oakland Athletics relocation situation. Basically, Dave Cable is making a plan to relocate the team and build a new stadium in Oakland. If that doesn't pass, then they are definitely relocating. So I guess we got to wait and see if they get approval from the city of Oakland to do that, which I don't think they will. I think the MLB will step in on that, and I believe that they're going to be relocating in the next three years. And last but not least, the National Football League, the NFL, Antonio Brown passed his physical and officially re-signs with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He's going for that back-to-back -back chip. Proud to see Antonio Brown out there. He was a very high-caliber receiver back in the day. He still contributes to the offense, and it's going to be exciting to see him on the field and all the weapons on the field for Tom Brady to play with. Pause. Two minor little topics. Adam Vinatieri is finally retiring from the NFL, I believe after 24 seasons. He's almost played in the NFL as long as I've been alive. Good job, Adam. Uh, one of the best kickers of all time. Not much to say. Kickers only contribute so much. They contribute a lot in the clutch, but in the overall team aspect, everyone knows kickers' place. And Todd Gurley is visiting the Detroit Lions. Very interesting. I want to see if he regroups with Jared Goff. Major possibility if he likes what he sees in Detroit, which I don't understand why anyone would, but I can see him reuniting with Jared Goff real soon. Jordan Love is impressing the Packers during OTAs while Rodgers opted out of the OTAs and went on vacation to Hawaii. Looks like Jordan Love is seizing the opportunity while the Rodgers-Packers drama is still unfolding. There's a period where the contract... I believe it's June 1st. The contract can get minimized if they ship him. They can save a lot of money. I see a lot of moves coming up in the next couple weeks with Rodgers and especially with Julio Jones as well with everything that's unfolding with him. And that leads us perfectly into the last but not least, Julio Jones, Shannon Sharp, trade fiasco. Shannon Sharp on his undisputed show with Skip Bayless on FS1 randomly calls up Julio Jones to ask him about staying in Atlanta. Julio Jones says, I'm out of there, bruh. We can just make the conclusion from there. Julio Jones will not be with the Atlanta Falcons in the fall. He will definitely be traded to get first-round picks. They're already shopping him for first-round picks and for anything. They're just kind of playing the field right now. But it kind of seemed like Julio Jones was caught off guard by Shannon Sharp or didn't really didn't conclude that Shannon Sharp was on television, even though he kind of whispered it into the phone, like, yeah, I'm on television, man, by the way. Like, after Julio Jones had already said what he said, so no going back on that. Very excited to see Julio Jones move. I don't know where he's going to move. That's going to be the kicker, but stay tuned for that because we're going to be covering that for fucking sure. And this concludes another episode of No Cap Recap. Just kind of want to update the audience real quick. For the NFL Dream Team for the GOAT playlist, I'm splitting it into two videos. All defense, all offense. You are going to get all defense on Monday, and then the following Monday you will get all offense. So stay tuned for that. As always, I'm on Apple Podcasts, on Spotify, on Google Podcasts. We're on here on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Hit me up, let me know, show some love. I appreciate all the support and all the love that I get. And until next time, go fuck yourself.